Atop's focus is Andhra Pradesh, where it's not only a run-up to the Lok Sabha elections, but as well as assembly polls. Just after meeting Amit Shah, TDP Chief Chandra Babu Naidu, as well as Pavan Kalyan, that's the Janasena Party Chief, all of them have now decided, seem to have at least come on a common seat-sharing consensus is what we are picking up, according to sources. Eight Lok Sabha seats, 30 assembly seats likely for BJP Janasena, TDP likely to contest on 17 Lok Sabha and 145 assembly seats. Formal announcement of seat-sharing very soon. TDP's Naidu, JSP's Pavan Kalyan to leave for Vijayawada. And I'm being joined by Mohit at this point. Mohit, the fact that the three have managed to come together is no surprise. In fact, till 2018, Chandra Babu Naidu was part of the NDA alliance. Of course, he then moved on. But how much of a game changer can this be in Andhra Pradesh? Well, you see, after hectic parlays, after putting all the permutations and combinations in place, after having various meetings with Home Minister Amit Shah, J.P. Nadda, it seems that the alliance is finalized between uh, the TDP, BJP and Janasena. Though Janasena is already part of the NDA, but then we saw that our Pavan Kalyan, Chandra Babu Naidu today went to the residence of Home Minister Amit Shah. They held a meeting for 50 minutes. J.P. Nadda was also present in this particular meeting. The bone of contention was that on how many seats BJP will contest. First, BJP was eyeing for 8 to 10 seats and around, uh, 20, to, uh, around 20 to 25 seats uh, in the assembly election. But then after all the meetings, now what the sources say is that BJP could contest on six seats. And uh, Pawan Kalyan Janasena, which has been given three seats, out of these uh, three seats, two could be, uh, go to Janasena and one could go to the BJP. For five plus one, six seats, BJP, two to uh, Pawan Kalyan Janasena. We can say that on eight seats, uh, BJP and Pawan Kalyan Janasena will contest. And on 17 seats, uh, TDP will contest. The official announcement will follow soon. And for benefit of our viewers, uh, uh, I'll just like to read uh, the constituencies from where BJP is willing to fight. Now, these are from Araku, from Rajamundri, Narsimapuram, Tirupati, Hindupur, and Rajampet. Anna Kapali, Kakinada, Mashri Patnam are these three seats which have been given uh, to Pawan Kalyan Janasena. Out of these three uh, seats, on one we can see that how the BJP can also uh, fight. So uh, it seems that the alliance is almost finalized. TDP is to contest on 145 assembly seats when it comes to the Mohit, assembly elections. Out, out of these soon, seats that you have mentioned, one last question before we just move uh, on. Out of these seats that you start. have mentioned, where do you really think BJP yeah, can yeah. stand a foothold in Andhra Pradesh? or give a tough contest? Well, yes, I, I had... Well, I... Yeah, yes, I had worked with various sources within the BJP. They say that when it comes to Raja Munduri, Deep Pundareshwari, who is a former union minister, she was with the Congress party, she joined BJP, and now she is the, uh, she is the uh, president of the Andhra Pradesh BJP. Uh, she could be given the ticket. Now, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to Narsimha Puram, it has to be decided. When it comes to Rajam Pet, Kiran Kumar Reddy, it's a big name that is running up because he was a former chief minister right. of Andhra okay. Pradesh. He was there with the Congress party, then he left Congress party, and he joined. Right. Uh, the BJP. So he could also be fielded by the BJP. So it will be a very interesting right, fight Mohit. this time around. Back to you. Right. Thank you very much, Mohit, for giving us those details. Moving on.